Hi friends! Today we're going to be doing the breakfast book tag. This tag was created by Kathy. I will link her original video in the description box below as well as in the cards if you would like to check out her original video. I highly recommend you do because it was a fun time. This tag is essentially going over some breakfast foods, what they mean, and correlating a book to that. Let's get to it. The first prompt is coffee. Hot but not scalding. So something that was a little steamy but didn't go full on naked if you will. For me I chose two books for this. They both weirdly are historical. So for that I chose Stocking Jack the Ripper, the series, and also The Infernal Devices, the series. Maybe you don't get into like the hot parts in the first books in these stories but definitely as they move forward they both have some more hot steamy elements but not necessarily adult content on the page if you get what I'm saying. Both of these highly recommend. Next is Bagel. So good you can forget about the plot holes. For this I went with the Hex Hall series by Rachel Hawkins. This series is so much fun. It is a super quick read. I read them all in a couple of weeks last year. I intend to read them again this year. They are just a lot of fun. They're very fast paced. Yes there are plot holes but you have so much fun reading through them that you really just don't even care. Cereal. Best consumed quickly. For that I went with a graphic novel because that seemed like something that you would consume quickly and I went with the Zodiac Star Force graphic novels. I love these. They are wonderful. Volume 1, Volume 2, Powers of Astra, Cries of the Fire Prince. Highly recommend. I don't know if there are more out there, if there are more coming. I don't know, but these are amazing. So check them out. Toast. Something that got a little dark. For me that was Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. It is a witchy book and it does have a little bit of creep factor to it. Especially the last quarter of the book got real weird and real dark. Oatmeal, a book that made you feel nice and warm. For me I went with my highest rated book of last year and that was 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston. This book is a Christmas themed which always makes me feel warm and happy but also a rom-com romance and it is wonderful. The next book in the series comes out in January of next year and I am already super excited about it. Juice. Pick your favorite flavor and a book based on its color. As Kathy stated I also am basic and my favorite juice of choice is orange juice and so for that I chose The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. This was a gift from my friend Brianna at Rainy Days Stormy Nights. I will link her in the description box below. I just got this a couple days ago but obviously how could you think of anything but orange juice when you look at that? Egg and or tofu scramble. As many different ways to eat them as there is to live. Name a memoir and for me I'm going with Felicia Day's You're Never Weird on the Internet. This book changed my life. I know that sounds crazy but it really did. I have a whole full review video for this and I will link it in the description box below as well as in the cards if you're interested on how Felicia Day changed my life and my view of my life and how I live my life. Cool. Fancy pastries. A genre that you don't read all the time but love when you do. For me that is definitely romance and we're going like adult romance that have a lot of the steamy times to them. For instance Get a Life Chloe Brown. Not necessarily my typical go-to A because it's adult, B because it's contemporary. I typically read YA fantasy which I'm getting into more adult. I've been getting into more adult regardless. I feel like this genre that typically has like a happy ever, happily ever after guaranteed is not something that I have always been into and I'm really starting to love it and so I'm reading more of it but I have not read a lot of it. Mimosa. Getting into brunch territory. So name a book that you're looking forward to. For me that is going to be Beach Read by Emily Henry. This was an early release from Book of the Month. It releases on May 19th I believe which may be before or after this video because I have zero idea when it's going up. This is one that I am super looking forward to because it centers around two writers and it's an adult romance. So adult rom-com romance is obviously starting to be one of my favorite things. Breakfast for dinner. Tell us something you like to eat for breakfast and about a book of your choice. My usual everyday breakfast is hash browns and a sausage and cheese and toast sandwich. Like every day that's pretty much what I have on weekdays. So the book that I want to talk about which is a go-to every day of my life or it could be I guess is Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And if you don't know you should know 
But if you don't know, she just recently released the title for the fifth book in the series and a release date. The newest book is going to be called Witch Shadow. It is releasing February 16th, I believe. And it is Izult's book and I am so excited for it. And if you are interested in this book, we are actually reading this as our group book for the AuthorTube Chat Book Club. So Kate Cavanaugh and I will be reading this book and discussing it with y'all at the end of June. So make sure to pick one up and come and chat with Kate and I about it at the end of June. That is everything that I have for the breakfast book tag. If you are going to do this tag, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to check it out. I'm not gonna tag anybody because I feel like if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Some people are still doing tags, some aren't. It's a confusing world out there. If you plan to do it, let me know. I would love to check it out. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything else I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!